Hello people! In this video I want to talk about map tiles and map patterns and why they are important to be familiar with when you're speedrunning. In Diablo 3 most maps are randomly generated from a limited set of tiles called map tiles. The maps are constructed in a way where it is not always easy to spot these tiles, but you may have noticed that a certain part of a map sometimes is repeating. If you try to isolate these repeating parts, you'll eventually be able to draw a grid on top of the map and easily see all the tiles in it. One thing to note is that tiles may differ in size and concept. For example, the tiles in Battlefields of Eternity are tiny and can often be accessed from all sides. A complete opposite is found in Area Crater, where the tiles are huge and can only be accessed through a tiny path. The tiles can affect how hard or easy you will find it to learn a map, so expect varying difficulty. The reason why it is important to know about map tiles when speedrunning is that it makes you able to optimize your path through the map like in this example from Pandemonium Fortress Level 1. Here it seems like I have two possible paths, but if I'm able to recognize the map tile based on what has already been revealed, I know that these paths are both part of the same two-way tile and that the shortest path to take is the right one. Another example is found in Area Crater Level 2. Again, it looks like I have two paths to choose between, but since I'm able to recognize the tile, I know that in fact there is only one correct path as the top leads to a dead end. Knowing the tiles will also help you to spot three-way or four-way tiles when you fail to uncover the map properly. In this example in Ruins of Corvus, it looks like I'm only able to go this way but this is actually a three-way tile, where the third path is still hidden. Missing a three-way tile is also quite common for the Vault of the Assassin, where it can be tough to find the exit if you don't know which tiles to look for. In general, if you want to be better at running a specific map, I recommend that you learn to recognize its three-way and four-way tiles first, as these often are a key part of finding the exit. Another thing you need to know is that even when a map is randomly generated, the map tiles often get arranged in a certain pattern. If you're able to spot this pattern when you're running through a dungeon, it becomes significantly easier to find your way through. In many maps, the pattern is a loop formed by three-way or four-way tiles. If a map has a loop, your goal is to know when you have entered this loop and which way to go to get out of the loop again. Here's an example using the Silver Spire level 1. The first three-way tile I encounter is the beginning of the loop, and here I just make a random decision of which way to go. In the next three-way tile, however, the decision is not random. The only way to get a loop on this map is to combine the two three-way tiles like this. That means I have to go this way to get out of the loop and find the exit. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to become good at map tiles or patterns, so you need to put in the effort. For map tiles, you can learn a lot from just doing rifts or bounties, and pay attention to the tiles you see. Map patterns are more difficult to master. The method I've used is to completely uncover the area I want to learn in campaign mode, take a screenshot of the map, and repeat this process over and over until I have many different screenshots to compare. This has taught me how to reliably navigate most of the maps in Diablo 3, but the method is not perfect, so be prepared to get fooled sometimes. Maps like Eastern Channel in Act 2 or Paths of the Drowned in Act 5 are still a mystery to me, and even maps I'm otherwise very familiar with might surprise me from time to time. If you want to know more about my findings, you can find the link to my map guide in this video's description. I hope this video has given you an idea of what it means to be good at maps when speed running Diablo 3, and I wish you good luck with your runs.